please stand for a moment of silence and remember our former county historian, Ted Sly, who passed away on October 24th, and then we'll have a pledge. Please introduce our singer this month. Thank you, Chairman. At this time, I'd ask you all rise and welcome Molly Ebner from Minnesing Valley. She's a 10th grader. She is going to lead us in the, play, in the uh, national anthem. Chairman, if I may, Absolutely. Th thank you. Molly, on behalf of the Orange County Legislature, Chairman Steve Brescia, Legislator Janet Sutherland, who could not be here today, it is my pleasure to present you the certificate for you singing the national anthem, and that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Molly. Fantastic job. Uh, we have four presentations um, after roll call. Benelli? Here. Paduk? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Keeney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Pulisek? Here. Lujan? Present. Minuta? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Ruskevich? Here. Sassy? Here. Sierra? Here. Staganga? Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia. Here. 20 present, one absent. Okay, we have two proclamations and two certificates. And first, I would like to invite up Mrs. Pat Larkin and family for the first presentation to the front podium. It gives me great pleasure on behalf of the legislature to present you with this certificate in honor of Bill. Uh, we all miss him so dearly. Um, he did so much for our community um, with you on um, the Armory in Newburgh, the Purple Heart Hall of Honor, um, so many municipalities throughout the county. He was truly a senator that we all looked up to. Um, Kevin Hines especially and Jim Kulisek I know was very involved with Senator Mark and Joe Minuta. Um, you know, just uh, can't say enough about Bill and how much we miss him. Just uh, 
a role model for all of us. And you too, because you were right there with many of his endeavors and your family. True, uh, true patriot. Kevin, do you want to say a few words? Sure. Here? Thanks. Uh, Bill meant so much to me. I wouldn't be here without him. He, uh, he talked me into running, believe it or not. And uh, when I, I told him, no, I told everybody I, I wasn't going to do it. And then I said, but the biggest hurdle would be to talk my wife into it. He goes, oh, I got that. I can talk my wife into a lot of things, he told me. And then, so uh, what, uh, just uh, such an important person. He taught everybody here how an elected official should act and how an elected official should represent their constituents. And I think we all strive to do that because of him, such an effective leader. Um, he lived in uh, Cornwall Hudson for years, and I remember when the West Point Mountain was on fire, he walked up to the general at West Point and he said, you know, this doesn't bother me too much because I lost my sense of smell in Korea, but my wife is really angry, and he let that general know it. And next thing you know, Governor Pataki showed up and all the resources of the federal government came up and helped us out, and helicopters, as you said. That was because he didn't want to have you be upset with him. So that was, uh, that was the Bill Larkin that I knew and loved, and I, I just, uh, I miss him, and uh, you, you did such a wonderful job uh, with the eulogy, uh, remembering him, it really touched everybody. Thank you. Mrs. Larkin. Yeah, as you know, the senator was very special to me. I've known him since I was a little boy. Um, I wouldn't be here today without him. It was his suggestion that I run for this office and many others, but he really pushed me to it at this point. Um, I'll never forget, I first opened my office and it was Senator Larkin that came out of a very small office and he walked in and I was couldn't have been more blown away to have his presence there. But um, anyway, he was a great man. The eulogy was wonderful. I will always remember him in the highest of honors. And he was a gentleman. And I look forward to hopefully emulating everything he stood for. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. You know, Bill just accomplished so much. You just can't, the list goes on. And we could be here all afternoon talking about his accolades. And, was in the assembly for 12 years, retired colonel, and just a true individual, a true American. So Pat, with, without further ado, I'll read the first resolution and then the last resolve. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature honoring the memory of the Honorable William J. Larkin, former New York State Senator for the 39th District of New York State, where it is fitting and appropriate to recognize the career and life of an outstanding citizen, statesman, soldier, and dedicated public servant and resolve that we, the Orange County Legislature, do hereby formally memorialize our profound sentiments on the occasion of the passing of William J. Larkin, Jr., on behalf of ourselves and all the people of the County of Orange, to whose interest and service he was so dedicated. And it is further resolved that this resolution be spread upon the records of this body as a permanent memorial and as an ending standard for its members and all citizens adopted the Orange County Legislature on November 7, 2019. wanted Kevin to take over his job <laughs> when, he re when he was going to retire, but that nobody could wait that long. But thank you to each of you for all the time and effort you put into um, the county and giving up your family. I know how hard that is for a lot of you. And, uh, you know, giving as much of yourself to public service. Thank you for that. Um, this is our youngest, Ann McGurk, uh, Ann, Ann Dagman, and uh, our other daughter, Patricia Rivers, and granddaughter, Nina Rivers, and Julian Rivers. And then we have over there some of Bill's staff, Megan, Kristen, Jim, and our, over there, and our friends Maureen, Beth, and Charlotte, they're over there. And uh, I, I thank you very much for this honor. Thank you again, Pat. <laughs> My cousins, Marilyn Hearns and uh, Cheryl, Cheryl Cariffi also worked for Bill for many, many years. 
Okay, the next presentation is uh, um, Bobby and Nick Urkline, if you guys want to come up. and Luke, you can come up with them too. Luke works for the county, that's their son. And I never knew, I've seen Luke over the years, I didn't even know, I didn't put two and two together. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, Bob, or uh, Nick, what's that? Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, Thanks for coming, Nick. I know you couldn't make it. How are you feeling? I feel great. Thank you feel great? Yeah. Um, actually, it was uh, Legislator Michael Amo that thought of this. You know, he wanted to commemorate the Woodstock 50th celebration. And Michael thought of it, and I jumped and said, yeah, definitely. Um, Michael, he, he has today, he's an intellectual with a bow tie, but years ago he was a big hippie back in. 85 with bow ties. He had the long hair back in the day, but. Uh, 60. Yeah, absolutely. 69 was probably one of the biggest years ever with the, the three New York championships, the, the man on the moon, and, and you guys. <laughs> but uh, thank you for coming up. We appreciate uh, that big commemorative moment in, uh, at Woodstock, and maybe you could say a couple words about what happened that day. And I, I read in the paper Jefferson's uh, airplane was playing the song when the picture was taken. We didn't realize the picture had been taken. didn't realize? No. Just say a couple words about it. Uh, Bobby and I are both uh, native Orange Counties. We, I was born in... Our kids are fifth generation Orange County. <laughs> yeah, I'm a graduate of Middletown High School, class of 67. Bobby's a graduate of, Middle, of Pine Bush High School, class of 67. I was uh, going to Ock, working as a bartender at Dino's. <laughs> if you're from Orange County way back then, you knew where Dino's was. <clears throat> and uh, we just decided on a, on a whim to go one, uh, that Saturday morning. And uh, someone took a photo of us, which is Burke Hussle took a photograph of us, and lo and behold, six, eight months later, surprise, there you are, you're on the cover. That's when I thought I should tell my mother I went. Tell us about the quote, I read about the quote in the car. I got a brainstorm one time, if I had known how much it was worth, I would probably have kept it, but um, as a young working union carpenter out of Rockland County, I used to drive a, a, a Volkswagen from Pine Bush down to, uh, towards the Tappan Zee, Pearl River, that area. And those things were pretty cold, a little drafty, so I got the real bright brainstorm to put that quilt in the front to block the wind. Well, that was in November, and then April, May, I took it out, and I looked at it, and it was just shredded from the road salts and the, and the calcium. So it ended up in a landfill someplace. Um, fast forward to 1989, we were offered $35,000 for it. <laughs> God knows what it would be worth today. I've got three dozen on order, you want one? <laughs> But it's been a, it's been a, a whirlwind uh, year for us, uh, 2019. Um, as Bobby has collected over 1,600 email requests for interviews uh, worldwide, it's been uh, we've had travel to Europe, uh, all the way to the other coast, uh, half you know halfway around the world. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and and it ended up with an amazing weekend, three day, actually four day weekend, at Bethel Woods, uh, where we met thousands of people. It was just an amazing weekend there. So uh, we've been blessed. We've been fortunate. Um, we've been together 50 years. We're celebrating our 40th, and well, we celebrated our 48th anniversary. Uh, okay. What day was that? That was like a Friday night. So. <laughs> <laughs> August 27th. How long did you work for the county? Uh, I retired from the county five years ago. I worked for the Office of Community Development. I was there for about 15 years. Um, I, I look around this room. I see a lot of familiar faces, um, a lot of new faces. Uh, I tell you, one of my best experiences of, of life and my work experience was working for the Office of Community Development. Uh, it's a great, great department. Uh, we had a lot of fun, we did a lot of good. Uh, I miss a lot of those people. Well, thank you very much. We have Legislator Sassy, who I'm sure you knew from Middletown, but he's, he represents you in Crawford now, but he's, he was in Middletown this, his first time around. But, uh, but thank you, I mean, I've, I've read about the signing autographs and all you guys went through, it was just, I had a, a Life Magazine, cover a Life Magazine with a couple locals that I, I know, one I know and one passed away that I wanted to bring today. I don't know, if, with a whole group on the Life Magazine, do you remember that too? Yeah. But uh, I couldn't find it in my truck, I had it. But, uh, <laughs> Where the book? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get you a copy. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Or, but we're we, looking at it for you. Yeah, we'll get it to Luke probably. But thank you for coming in. We salute you guys and, and being such a large part of uh, Woodstock history and you from Orange County, which makes it even special for us. So. It's a wonderful thing to have 
been able to share with a man you've loved for 50 years? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> we should get a picture with another quote. There you <laughs> no, but thank you very much. And the certificate of recognition of the County of Orange presented to Nicholas and Barbara Bobby Erkeline, acknowledging the 50th anniversary of Woodstock, specifically the iconic photograph, which made you both an important part of our local history, and your unexpected participation and work as ambassadors in pres preserving what was to be a historical musical phenomenon re recognized around the world and defined an entire nation, given this third day of October, it was supposed to be. L. Stephen Brescia, Chairman of the Legislature. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I want to stay up here because we have a proclamation recognizing National Runaway Prevention Month. And you're Chairman of Human yes. Services, so you want to yes. take. Is Chris Molinelli here? I thought I saw him come in. Chris, come on up. Don't worry. Good to see you, Chris. Chris Molinelli is here from Honor, and it is, as the Chairman just mentioned, National Runaway Month. And Honor and Chris Molinelli, uh, the work that they do, if you haven't been up to Honor, I, I suggest you go up and, and see all of the great things that take place under Mr. Molinelli's uh, directorship there. So Chris, on behalf of the Orange County Legislature, we appreciate all you do and like to offer you this uh, presentation here today. On behalf of the Orange County Legislature, resolution of the Orange County Legislature and the Orange County Executive recognizing National Runaway Prevention Month. And I'll let you read it because I don't have my glasses. Okay, but it's quite extensive there. But thank you very much, Chris, for all you do. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. And I would invite up Legislator Paul Briskevich to help with this next uh, two certificates to legislate or to uh, John McCary and John Sanford. Are they here? Oh. Okay, come on up, guys. Jeez, you seem to get something every month, John McCary. <laughs> he definitely deserves it. No question about that. And no argument here. Paul, you want to say a few words about these two fine gentlemen? Yeah, I want to thank you guys for coming in today. Uh, the reason we have them here is to thank them for their many years of service on the Orange County uh, Agriculture and Farmland Protection Board. Um, I know I've been there, uh, what, six years now. I know you guys were there long before I got there. And uh, I know just on the short time I've been there, I've learned a lot from both of you. And uh, I really appreciate all the time and effort you've put into the Ag Board. Uh, it really does uh, mean a lot for our, for our industry and for the board. So uh, thank you. Congratulations. And I know, uh, I know Bill Johnson is also retiring. Uh, I know he's going to be here today, but we have a certificate that we'll be sending in as well. I hope so. Paul, oh, you've done a fantastic job for the Ag Board. Um, our agriculture in Orange County is, as you all probably know, um, it's tough in Orange County because we're, we're up against a lot of the, the larger farms, which are more active and, and more able to meet the lower cost of, of produce and lower cost of, of meat and milk. Um, so I think that if we need to kind of support our local farmers because it's a tough time for all of them. I was on the Ag Board for uh, 20 years, and uh, part of that is a, a job, part of my job is Director of Real Property. You must serve on uh, the Ag Board in the county, which you are, same way a Commissioner of Plans serve. And uh, the, I sat on many boards, and the Ag Board was one of my favorites because you could learn anything. And uh, I must also commend you, Paul, for everything you did in the last couple of years for your farmers and the community. And, uh, the board really came into own in the last eight or 10 years with John Sanford pushing the ag plan and everything else. And uh, the board does a lot of good things for your local farmers. So thank you. Thanks again, gentlemen. We definitely salute you guys and we're 100% behind, behind farming and agriculture. We show that with our support for the partner or for the Orange County Cornell Cooperative Extension every year. So. But thank you. What are you doing, growing a mustache, trying to look a little younger now? <laughs> John, congratulations. Yeah, I think there's November, some, some uh, fundraiser going on. 
Oh, is it? <laughs> John, <laughs> John has been amazing. Let me yeah. Say. yeah you, when, when, why did he get things done? John got them done. No doubt about that. Pop right up and say, we're going to get this done. And did it. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Public participation first up is Kevin Gomez uh, regarding the support for the stop arm cameras for school bus legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the North County Legislature. I'll start again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the Orange County Legislature. My name is Kevin Gomez. I'm from Middletown, New York, where I live with my wife and one of the four children, and where I also am blessed to serve as a member of our school board. I come here as a private citizen in support of Local Law Intro Number 5, uh, imposing order liability for failure to stop for a school bus displaying a red visual sign and a stop arm. This is a strong and bold step in the right direction. Think about it. It's been estimated that each day in New York State, there are about a thousand incidents of reckless drivers passing a school bus that stopped for children the year loading or unloading. A thousand, God forbid, fatalities waiting to happen. Our legislature has taken a strong step in the right direction. I thank County Executive Newhouse and the bipartisan support in this body to do this. In Middletown, we've been urging the state legislature to pass legislation to raise the penalties in the vehicular traffic law for cars that do the same, for drivers doing the same thing. Yet the state legislature, year after year, lets legislation, despite bipartisan support, die in the, in the State Assembly Transportation Committee. I thank this body for setting an example, and I hope Albany will look at this and do the same. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Next speaker is Animal Hughes regarding item number two on the agenda. Thank you for, thank you for recognizing me, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Um, we've had some things happen recently that are a little bit disturbing, and we have a lot of properties that have reservoirs, and this is some of the things that we're looking at for the future. Um, we need to incorporate an oversight of an inventory of list of things that are farmland, that are collars around reservoirs, and areas of particular interest that are very important to the watersheds and collecting the water and having them go to where they need to go unobstructed and without restraint. Recently, there's been a 40-acre parcel that was covered with solar panels that was farmland. And because it wasn't within a certain distance of state highways or institutions or special things that 239 calls for, it went under the radar. It happened right here in New Windsor adjacent to the New York City aqueduct. And these kind of things have got to stop. It's a killer. You lost 40 acres of farmland right out the window. The town wasn't notified, the county wasn't notified. I took a ride down Riley Road and there's 40 acres of solar panels. This kind of thing has got to stop. We cannot afford to continue to lose farmland. So we need to look at this and I don't know all of the bells and whistles about local number four of 219. I read it briefly before this meeting, but we need to look at that as well if we're going to allow parcels to be sold, we need to look at their watersheds, we, look at, we need to look at their proximity to reservoirs, and we need to make sure that we're not giving away farmland. Please take all these things into consideration. Thanks for listening to me. Thank you, Anna. Okay, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I respectfully uh, move to approve the minutes of September 5th, 2019. Okay. All in favor? Opposed, legislator, or Majority Leader Benelli again. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. And I would ask to move to vote collectively on items number 10 and 11, 13 through 15, and 19 and 20. Second. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done. Okay, are we on to number one, Jim? Nope. Consent, okay, I'm sorry, yes. Um, legislator Hines. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to add by consent the 
place on the record a resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept and appropriate funds from the State Criminal Aliens Assistance Program pursuant to Section 99H of the General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done. Okay, will that be 21? Yeah. Okay, 21. All right, let's go on to number one. Legislators Benelli, Paduk, Amo, and Agostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagio, and Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierras, Deganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature honoring the memory of the Honorable William J. Larkin, Jr., former New York State Senator for the 39th District of New York State. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Stiganga, Totel, 2E, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, 2A, uh, yeah, 2A receive and file, and number 2 is a bond resolution requiring two thirds vote. Local law, excuse me. Legislators Cheney and Fagione, local law introductory number 4 of 2019. A local law amending section two of local law number 10 of 2018 relating to the sale of certain county real property known residents on reservoir properties and authorizing the sale to other than the highest responsible bidder. Second. Okay, so it's, we do require two thirds on this even though it's a local law. Okay, because of the bonding aspect of it. No, sale of real property, excuse me. Okay, all right, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassi? Sierra? <coughs> Stiganga? Tortel? Tui? Biro? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, 3A receiving file and number 3. Legislators Paduk and Biro, local law introductory number 5 of 2019. A local law in relation to establishing a demonstration program imposing owner liability for failure of an operator to stop for a school bus displaying a red visual signal and stop arm. Yes, yes, um, majority leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I respectfully ask that you add all the other things. Well done, Mr. I do have a Okay, go ahead, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just have a concern regarding this since I'm the sponsor. Uh, if we look at section two, at, uh, letter B, it says that the county is hereby authorized to install and operate school bus photo violation monitoring system. And then I, right underneath it says, no stationary school bus photo violation monitoring system shall be installed or operated by the county. So there's a contradiction here. So before we vote on this, I ask the attorney, maybe, you know, what we can do or what we should do about it. Uh, Mr. Duke, um, the inconsistency really comes out of the real uh, vehicle and traffic law section uh, 1174A, that, that verbiage mirrors what's in that law. And, and basically, the, under the, the state law, uh, the county is authorized to uh, perform or have this demonstration program. So we're authorized to work with the school districts, but uh, understanding that the school district has the contract with the bus organizations or bus companies. Uh, so it's sort of uh, the, the authority to put these things, uh, to put these uh, mechanisms onto the school buses authorized, is authorized to the county by the state. And then we enter into the agreement with the school district who is then has the contract with the school, uh, with the bus companies to put it on the bus. So it's just trickling it down to get that machine onto the bus. So it, the authority goes, uh, it, it sort of streams down through agreements. Confusing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, the way I understood in committee too, this does come back to us in the final details. Uh, right, uh, the county attorney said that he would come in uh, and uh, give us uh, an update as the, uh, as the uh, program uh, progresses. Okay, and I just want to clear that I am for this. In committee, I argued because I thought it was five points that was resolved in committee, and I was for it. I just thought it should be further down the agenda when the budget was first. And but along that same point, there's no cost to the county support, so that's that's what we're hearing. So we'll see that in the final details, though. So, yep, Michael, did you want to say something? 
Add your name, absolutely. Your other part of your caucus went into or no? We have everybody, are you in? Yes, Michael Nystock, Mike and Nystock, excuse me. Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, uh, similar to Mr. Purdue's concern, in, in uh, the Cornwall School District, they contract with an operator, and the last sentence on page one says, within the school district, within the county, on school buses owned and operated by the school district. So I think it should say owned or operated. I know we can't change it because it's a local law, but I don't, I'm wondering if that would box out a school district that doesn't own their own bus. Uh, I'll bring that to the attention of the county attorney, and um, if he deems it necessary, we can um, make a uh, small amendment to the local law. Oh, thank you. And that would have to be done in rules that sit on the desk in the days to right? Yeah. Wait a minute. But uh, I'll refer that comment to the county attorney. Okay. Well, uh, Kevin Darian, you want to say something? I just wanted to make sure that I didn't hear it. Yeah, Mike, uh, Mike, you did add everybody in the Democratic caucus, right? Okay, yep, you're at it. Thanks, Chair. Anytime. Roll call. Pinelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Stiganga, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. And number four. Legislators Paduk and Kulasek. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Board of Elections to accept and appropriate grant funds from the state of New York pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Okay. Discussion. Legislator Fagione. Thank you, Chairman. This resolution here before us today reminds me that sometimes the truth does come out of Albany. Unfortunately, the truth out of Albany was uh, said by Charles Levine, who is the uh, legislative chairman of the Committee of Election Law. And in April of this year, when discussing early voting and the costs thereof, he said, and I quote, in Albany, none of us believes state spending is going to cover all the costs. This resolution before us here is a living example that what is said in Albany on this matter is 100% true. Not a single legislator here in this room had the ability to debate or vote on early voting or the cost thereof. We are being asked today to accept a portion of the funding that was necessary to provide early voting here in Orange County. And uh, as Senator Charles Levine, or Assemblyman Charles Levine also said, that he felt there would be, quote, unanticipated costs. This was a rush through from Albany. This was done without consulting any of the county legislatures across New York State. And I ask that my fellow legislators consider this on their vote. Thank you, Chairman. Okay, any other discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney, Fagione, no. Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Aye. Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Stiganga, Tortel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 18 eyes, one no. Okay, number five. Legislators Benton and Menuda. I'm sorry, 20, 20 to 1. It was 19. 19, 1. 19 one. Right. 19-1-1. Okay. Legislators Benton and Menuda. Resolution in support of the County of Orange, the Town of Crawford, and the Orange County Water Authority negotiating an easement and agreements in relation thereto to enable the utilization of water by the Town of Crawford or water districts therein from the county property known as the Dwarf Hill Well Field. Second. Discussion? Mr. Chairman, uh, this is just an updated version of an earlier resolution we had passed, basically giving the town of Crawford permission to go on a county land. The county has drilled wells up there, and uh, Crawford is in a semi-water crisis and has applied for a state grant, and we are in the final process of uh, fulfilling those grant requirements. So this is just giving us permission. There's no dollars, no money or anything associated with it. So I would ask for your support and also add me as a sponsor. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Duke added too. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Stasi? 
Sierra, Stiganga, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number six. Legislators Benton and Sutherland, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 Orange County budget for various departments pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Fidu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Fulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Griskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Tortel? Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 20 eyes. Okay, number seven. Legislator Benton. Resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law number two of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagdostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione, Hines, Pulisic, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, double A8 and A8, receive and file, uh, number eight. Legislator Benton, resolution accepting and confirming the report of the apportionment of the mortgage tax for the period April 1st, 2019 through September 30th, 2019, as computed from statement filed by the county clerk. Right. Discussion? Roll call. Vanelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Saganga? Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 20 eyes. And number nine. Legislators Tui and Benton. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature giving notice of intent to assume lead agency status under State Environmental Quality Review Act seeker with respect to the Orange County Sewer District number one, Harriman Wastewater Treatment Plant longevity improvements and making a preliminary determination that this project be classified as an unlisted action. Okay. Discussion, Bureau added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia. 20 eyes. 10 and 11 collectively. We need this. May I ask that all Republicans be added? Yes, sir. Okay. You didn't second that. You didn't second that? Uh, roll call. Vanelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Vagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number 12. Mr. Luhan, did you want to be added to number 11? Yes, I'm both. You're on 10. Thank you. Okay. All right, number 12. Legislator Stagang and O'Donnell, resolution confirming the reappointments and appointments by the county executive to the Orange County Electrical Licensing Board. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagdostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, 13 through 15 collectively. Second. Here you go. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisic, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislator Stiganga and O'Donnell, resolution supporting a permanent funding floor for community college based state aid formula for fiscal year 2020. Second. Discussion? All, all added. Okay. All Democrats added, okay. And um, Fagion added. Cheney, Hines, Amo, Stigang. Yeah. 
Yeah, all Republicans. Okay. Okay. Anybody doesn't want to be added? Add everybody. Okay. Good. Welcome. Vanelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Annette Nostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagion, Heinz, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 17, on resolution. Third, second. Legislator Sassy, Stiganga, Benton, Benelli, Sutherland. Bond resolution dated November 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing various improvements for Orange County Community College stating the estimated total cost thereof is $1,425,000, appropriating said amount therefore, including $712,500 to be received from the state of New York, and authorizing the issuance of $712,500 bonds of the county to pay the balance of the cost thereof. Second. Discussion? Yeah. Added. Okay, Total, Jeannie, Moskowitz. And I just have to say that Legislator Minuta thoroughly vetted all of these improvements, at least more than once, probably. <laughs> In person on a few of them. <laughs> so, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. And Agnes Takis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Same. Menuda? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Sidanga? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Brescia. 19 eyes, one abstention. Okay, number 18, other bond resolution, supermajority inquiry. Legislators Total, Sutherland, Benton, and Agnostakis. Bond resolution dated November 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing boiler replacement for the Department of Mental Health, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 250000 appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 250000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagastakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, 19 and 20 collectively? Ben, um, Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisic? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. The desk is clear. No? Oh, the consent, I'm sorry. And I thank you, Jim, for suggesting that we start the Ways and Means special meeting at 4.30. That was a good move on your behalf and staff. I'm not getting another raise this year, though. Okay. Other than what they agree yeah. Okay, just kidding. 20, 21, right? 21, Jim? Everyone has another desk, yes, 21. Legislators Hines and Fagione, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept and appropriate funds from the State Criminal Aliens Assistance Program pursuant to Section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Paduke added. Okay. Uh, Minuta added. Okay. Mr. Ganga, um, Joel Sierra. Okay. okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisic, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, no speakers afterwards? Okay. Why do you have animal? What, yes, what's the problem? You weren't signed up, you know. I, I goofed. I thought I had it before. We're going to let you go today because there's not, we don't have a long line, all right? I'll, I'll stand in the penalty box for a while. <laughs> Healthy shot? I was born there. I think I'll end up there. I'd, I'd like to bring a, a, a climate note to the board. For the last seven years, we've been seven inches deficit in each of those years. Last year, we broke even at what we normally get between 48 and 51 inches in this part of the world. 
Right now, we're 52 inches behind in the last seven years. We're in a tremendous drought deficit. There are wells all over the United States that are monitored. One of them is right in your hometown down by the Hill River. It's down 11 feet. We've got a serious problem going on here, and we need to take an inventory on it and look at it and do something about it. Thank you. Thank you, Animal. And Legislator Benton, we're going to reconvene at 4.30 here. <coughs> oh, that's for a committee meeting. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Motion to adjourn? Second. Thanks, Mike.